Hello guys, Marcus here and today I am surrounded by four of the most iconic guitars. I want to show to you how they sound and how different they are from each other. I will play some jumps and then describe how I pick a guitar for any specific situation. below in the description box you can find timestamps, gear details, the signal chain and a lot of cool stuff. Let's start by the strat. So this marvelous guitar got three pickups, bridge, middle and neck. This toggle for five positions where the position number one is the bridge pickup, position number two, bridge and middle, position number three, middle, position number four, middle and neck. And my favorite voice, the position number five, the neck pickup. One volume, tone for the neck pickup and another tone control for the middle and the bridge pickup. My favorite tone with this Strat is tube amp, overdrive but just a little bit and neck pickup. <laughs> And for funk, the bridge pickup is the best. Well, the Tele maybe is the simplest guitar. One tone control, one volume control, three positions, bridge, both together, and neck. When I think about Tele, I think about the late 60s. And this guitar sits so well in the mix. If you think about Led Zeppelin 1 and Led Zeppelin 2, most of those iconic riffs were recorded using a Telecaster. <laughs> The best tone for me of a Telecaster is gonna be bridge pickup and overdrive. Mm -hmm. 
And the downside of this guitar would be the neck pickup. Tries to be a neck pickup of a Strat, but it's never gonna be. So this is the model that melts my heart, the last pull. Two pickups and all the pickups got tone control and volume control. Three positions, bridge, combined and neck. And this model is a 2013 and I have some push pulls. And I can say at that time I couldn't afford a second guitar and these features they saved my life many times. I know a lot of people hate this feature. They say ah Gibson Les Paul cannot sound like a Tele or a Strat but actually it saved me many times. And this guitar for me is really for rock and roll. You can play blues, you can play any other style, but for me, this is the rock and roll guitar. My favorite one with Les Paul is gonna be British Amp, Marshall or Orange and Overdrive. The downside of the Les Paul is it's really heavy.
semi hollow body guitar ES345 could be ES335 and like the Les Paul two humbuckers two volume controls two tone controls three positions bridge combined neck and I think that's easy when you think about a semi hollow guitar you think straight away about easy listening blues and jazz right well not for me my favorite voice from this guitar is using fuzz for alternative rock like smashing pumpings stone temple pilots or full fighters <laughs> The best part of this guitar is the versatility. You can go from jazz, blues, funky to heavy metal. Nothing will be behind. But unfortunately, this guitar is a bit expensive. So that's it, a little bit about these four iconic guitars. If you're gonna buy a new guitar right now, I hope this video is helpful for you. If so, you can drop your like. But for now, that's all. Keep yourself rocking, safe, alive and kicking. See you.